We are following breaking news now. The driver of a stolen car is in custody after a crash that injured 10 people on the east side. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. It happened during the rush hour on Lexington Avenue and 42nd Street. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal live at the scene with more. Naveen? Yeah, Christine, two of the lanes here on Lexington Avenue still blocked off, as well as two of the cars that were hit in this crash still remain on scene. One of them, uh, this yellow cab, uh, disabled at the corner here at Lexington and 42nd. Now, this all started when officers following a stolen car was were following a stolen car, and that vehicle was trying to flee, hitting 10 people, including a six-year-old and two other cars along the way. This happened in the midst of rush hour, 5.30 p.m., Police say a license plate reader that tipped off officers to the stolen maroon Hyundai at 45th and 2nd Avenue, and they followed that vehicle at a low rate of speed because of heavy traffic. The driver of that stolen car then hit a bicyclist on Lexington Avenue, somewhere between 42nd and 43rd, and then hit that yellow cab closer to the intersection of 42nd before making a U-turn in the middle of the intersection at Lexington and 42nd and hit a black livery cab driver along with pedestrians. Initially the vehicle started to pull over and the officers continued to follow at a low rate of speed because of the heavy traffic. The motorist made his way back onto Lexington Avenue and first struck a bicyclist on Lexington Avenue between 42nd and 43rd Street. He put the gas and passed the, the bus and hit the, the yellow car. And then from the yellow car, when he hit him, he gained the sidewalk and hit the people who was on the street. And as you mentioned earlier, Christine, it was 5.30 p.m. Uh, in the midst of uh, rush hour traffic. Uh, police say 10 people were injured. Eight of them were transported, uh, transported to Bellevue. Two others refused medical attention. We're told that uh, some of the injuries are ankle-related as well as abrasions. But thankfully, all of them are non-life-threatening. The, in the uh, ages of those injured are between 6 years and 72 years old. Live in Midtown, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.